All right, guys, she's snowing pretty good. I'm gonna wait about an hour or two yet here before we go out and uh, get it all plowed. This will be my uh, hopefully last addition or uh, uh, version, if you will, of the uh, tire pusher. I went out last uh, or yesterday, moved a few inches of snow we had on the ground and tested it out with the uh, mud flap idea that I had. The original ones over there on the ground worked phenomenally. I love it. Works great. Acts like a great big bucket. Unfortunately, the ones that are on the ground there, they were a free one that I had found. They're thin and they were real hard rubber and I broke it when I got into the real heavy stuff. So, <clears throat> I went out and dug in the back and I found this uh, other mud flap here which is twice as thick. You can't really see it but it's, it's twice as thick and it's quite a bit softer and quite a bit heavier. Uh, and this time, I uh, you know I screwed it on the top again, just like I did last time on both. But in this time, in addition, I drilled some holes through the rubber, and I I'm uh, wire tying it to the cutting edge on every, every place I can get. Uh, the other one did not have that, and uh, I don't think it really needed it to be honest. But we're gonna do a little overkill just to hopefully it'll hold up a little bit better, but. Hopefully that gives you guys some ideas and helps you with your own projects that uh, save you some money on a nice little snow pusher like this. As you can see she's coming down, starting to come down pretty good. We'll wait a few hours and uh, see what it looks like and uh, we'll have a real nice little video. Alright guys, before we go out moving snow, I wanted to uh, do something real quick with my Mustang. I've noticed when I was working with it here that the uh, boom was coming down awful slow and that that valve for that was sticking pretty pretty good. So I'm going to show you a little something that I use upon occasion when this happens. And uh, Personally, my, my favorite product is this, Seafoam. The Hydra Trans Tune works pretty good. I uh, been using it for quite a few years now and it helps a lot with moisture. I have leaking wheel seals here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Just a little bit there. That's that's hydraulic oil. And uh, <laughs> there was a huge puddle around it last summer. You know, it was pretty good size and uh, it uh, milky, you know. You get that milkiness for the water in there. I put one can in there and that helped quite a bit. But I've got a lot of issues this winter with sticking valves and, and uh, moisture in there and stuff again with the snow so we're gonna put a little bit of sea foam in there see if that helps and we're gonna move some snow
sets. Works pretty dang slick. If you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you want some more information about how I built it or details, you know, so it can help you build your own, let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching.